you recommend a special mix? Find a booth with a newspaper. How'd she discover me? She wasn't even looking at me. Get in there and see what she's up to. No, I don't want him taught a lesson. You know what I want. Well, then make someone else do it. You still know people out here, don't you? Then make some calls. She doesn't even have the receiver picked up, does she? Very clear about this. You get this done, or I'm. <laughs> Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Sure, I got the film. What's the story? You guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments? She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh shit, you better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McCaffrey's wife in the first place. Or he'd done the job properly. McCaffrey will break a fella's legs just for looking at him. What did you make of the kid? You believe her story? I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? before someone gets hurt. That didn't sound good. You the cops? I tried to stop them. It's it's room 803, left out of the elevator. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. Left out of the elevator. Move this way. Give it up, LAPD! I'm about to break your goddamn jaw. I curse you and your children. You must be 
out of your tiny mind. I love it when they go. God dang. Suckers. You know, as a boxing champion, <laughs> whoop your tail. Mm -hmm. Are you injured, Mrs. Bishop? I'm all right now. Those horrible, awful men. Perhaps you should sit down, ma'am. Yes. Yes. Forgive me, officers. I'm very flushed. I'll, I'll just sit down for a moment. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Take a moment while we look around. Yes. Thank you. Just look at this mess. Not sure this means much. It looks like a mermaid in the background. Silver screen. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopkins' shop. It doesn't appear to be connected. I don't think this is anything. I doubt it. Great Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica. set downtown. Money! Finders keepers! It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. This doesn't pertain to the case. Tell me anything. This isn't what we're looking for. I love that he actually stops and picks up his hat. Probably not. This is any use to us. Not everything here is going to be relevant. So I gotta pick it up and look at it. Optimistic, Cole. What do you have to do to earn twenty thousand dollars? Circumstantial. I think all we got left is the kitchen, right? Presented to Mark.
Those men, I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Your husband was using June Ballard and his new movie. Hardly. I've been out of this play this game too darn long. Has limited range and is over the <sighs> Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Either we find him or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we he find him. He knows the truth, yeah. I do care for him, but I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Hopgood might know. Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? You're lying, Mrs. Bishop. It's some kind of payoff. You know exactly what the money is for and who it's getting paid to. Do I? Would you like to prove that, detective? Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. Jessica remembered a mermaid. The mermaid okay. on the front of the prop store. You better That's right. with me. This is a sick town, detective. Are you sure you really want to know? The truth is, my husband likes them young. And you think that's okay? I was 16 when I first met him. I thought he was a genius. A magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is, Ballard sacrificed her little friend. Happens to a lot of girls. Mm. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thanks, ma'am. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, a movie producer's wife. Finally, rubbing shoulders with the almost rich and famous. Almost rich and famous. And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. Mm. 
Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Yeah. You think she'd have gotten a hint after those hatchet men redecorated her apartment? Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average kid is broad with nothing between the ears. Well, she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and McCaffrey. INS officer needs assistance, 540 West 9th Street at Uncle Sam's Army Supply. 540 West 9th Street. Unit can handle code 2 identified. I ain't worried about it. It's on the other side of town. Nope. Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. But Kowski. We're investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Oh, Christ! Uh, I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. Do you have a suit of armor? Keep him here, Stefan. I'm gonna take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. One-way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. a 15-year-old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? Can't be that way, Phelps. You couldn't fit a rat through there. That doesn't seem non legit at all. Jungle Drums, 8th and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. This 
So what happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? I wonder if they saw this, how many budding starlets would still get on the bus to come to Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Sick, I tell you. Sick. 